Hey folks, Jared back. So we're going to be taking a look at Rayglow version 4.0.1, which is actually based off of the Android 4.2.2 leak from HTC. So this is actually a glimpse into what we will be expecting uh, when the actual official update hits all HTC One devices. With that said, this ROM is actually quite themed, so you're going to notice some differences, some different looks and icons, things like that on the buttons. As you can see, uh, see down here in the notification tray, you've got some different colors going on, things like that, some different icons for applications. So let's go ahead and take you on a tour on what's different about Android 4.2.2 and um, kind of explain to you some of the things and benefits of this particular particular ROM. So first and foremost with uh, Android 4.1.2 on the HTC One, generally when you uh, had a uh, an icon on your dock, if you were to remove it, um, it would then create another shortcut on your dock again, and you could end up creating hundreds if you wanted to, as long as you had that much, uh, you know, home screens. But anyways, uh, so you'll notice that I've got my camera icon there, but if I was to go ahead and remove it and put it on the desktop, it doesn't actually replicate or duplicate the icon. That's awesome because that drove me nuts. <laughs> um, with that said, uh, we go ahead and jump in here. Now with this particular ROM, they have cherry picked some different things from other uh, phones actually. For instance, some things from the, uh, the the latest Sony Xperia line. We've got a Bravia engine. We've got a couple of different applications such as movies and albums from the Sony Xperia Z or ZL. I'm not really sure which one. It's pretty much the same thing. We also have S Memo. We have S Voice there. We have S Translate, which is really awesome. Works quite well actually. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, the Play Store looks like it's themed, but it's actually not. It's just a themed icon. Um, again, some different theme, uh, themed icons and things like that uh, for your applications. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. Pull that down. You'll notice that we don't have that annoying um, persistent uh, power save notification there, which was annoying everybody. And there was various tweaks out there to get rid of it. So that's not there at the moment. Um, go ahead and you will click on that little button there, which will look different on a completely stock based ROM. Um, but we'll go ahead and click on that and boom, quick settings. Thanks to Android 4.2.2. This is a much welcomed addition to the HTC one, as I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me. Um, so we've got all that. You'll notice that in some of these different quick settings, we've actually got a three dot overflow button there. So for instance, this is my Wi-Fi. If I was to go ahead and click on that, whoops, that was a terrible example. If I was to go ahead and click on that, it'll actually bring us into that particular menu or the settings of that particular uh, selection there. So we'll jump out of there. Uh, brightness, uh, we've actually got, so you've got uh, auto brightness, which is tapping it there with all three bars uh, loaded up. And then we've got incrementals. So that's, um, you know, without anything that's completely dim, very dark, which would be awesome. I love that dimness level. Uh, that'll be perfect at night. Go ahead and click it again, brings it up to level one. We've got level two. And then of course we have level three, which is awesome. Uh, so we'll jump into settings now. Again, different theming going on just based on this ROM. There isn't too much difference though, like as, as far as functionality is concerned, it's completely the same. Uh, move down here, let's show you some things that are different. Uh, one thing that I did notice is that even though it's Android 4.2.2, I haven't been able to figure out how to enable uh, lock screen widgets. I don't know if that's because this is still um, a leaked 4.2.2 update. Uh, I'm not sure, or maybe there's a particular hidden menu somewhere that I'm unaware of. If there is, go ahead and let me know in the comments below because I'm going nuts trying to figure that out. Um, but so we don't have anything new in security there. Uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Display gestures and buttons. Now you'll notice that we do have the daydream feature now, which some people like. I'm not a huge fan of it personally, uh, but this is an important one. Home button, swipe up for Google Now, press and hold for menu. So you actually have the option of swipe up or press press uh, and hold for Google Now or swipe up for Google Now, press and hold for menu. This is awesome. So in some of my earlier videos, um, I showed you guys the uh, HTC logo button hack, right? Because a lot of you guys wanted to use this as a menu button or, you know, for when you want to get into settings for whatever the situation is. Well, uh, the way I have it mapped now and this that comes stock with the Android 4.2.2 update that HTC is going to be rolling out hopefully sooner than later. Uh, you'll notice I can actually swipe up from the home button and it jumps me right into Google Now or I can press and hold, sorry, press and hold and that'll bring up the, well, that's basically the menu button. So you don't necessarily actually need that HTC logo button hack now. Uh, if anything, I'd be using some of the kernels out there, like I think it was the Elemental X kernel where you have just some cool uh, features such as like swiping your finger across the capacitive button bar here and it'll uh, wake it up or turn it off and so on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? What else? What else? 
Um, let's jump back in here and we'll go down a little bit more. I'm trying to remember if there's anything I've missed. Ah, yes, power. Uh, so we go in here generally, you know, you guys are all familiar with this if you have an HTC One. Now, uh, a lot of you guys may not have a uh, custom ROM that has the ability to give you the percentage um, of your battery. However, if that is the case, well, we now have show battery level. So you'll notice if I uncheck it, the it goes away, check it again, boom, battery level pops up. That's also an extremely welcomed uh, addition to the HTC One, something that it was definitely lacking before that we've all seen in the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S4 now, um, and people fell in love with that. This is something that uh, all manufacturers should be including because, well, I'd like to know if my device is at 85% or if it's at 95%. It's hard to tell the difference, right? Uh, anyways, so so that's basically it. Um, now this particular ROM is actually quite stable. It's quite fast. Um, I'm kind of digging the theming, although I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to stick around with it. Uh, it's almost a little bit too heavy for me personally. Some of you guys might like it, but it seems almost too cartoony for me, um, even worse than TouchWiz. So with that said, oh, oh, we also have this quick settings button. I don't know if I've showed you guys that yet, but um, so we've got that quick settings application there and it brings us into this. We've got a bunch of different options so you can quickly access all these most used features by by the majority of people out there including myself uh, so there's that for you so that's pretty cool uh, anyways guys I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go and download this ROM and check it out if you want to how to flash it well just go ahead download the um the ROM itself, push it to your SD card. However, I do have a warning label for you guys. Uh, because you are going to be upgrading from Android 4.1.2 to Android 4.2.2, which are very different systems, um, you are going to have to back up that content on your SD card if you don't want it deleted. And it will wipe everything on your uh, internal SD card, your pictures, your movies, anything. You're going to want to back those files up, all right? It will completely wipe your system. However, once you have this loaded on and we continue to, uh, you know, play with Android 4.2.2 ROMs, um, that being stock-based HTC One ROMs, um, you won't have to worry about that in the future. So uh, just be aware of that. <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, flashing it, push it to your SD card and just flash it in recovery like you normally would. Um, anyways, if you have any problems with this particular ROM, just uh, leave those comments on the ROM thread itself. I'm sure those guys will help you out just fine. Again, link for this ROM will be in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, that's it for now, though, guys. Hopefully you like this video. If you you did shoot me some love and hit that likes button down below the description uh, as well as maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future if you're new to my channel and if you want to stay up to date on all things the smoking android go ahead and follow me on facebook twitter and google plus those links will be in the description below as well that's it and we'll see you the next one cheers guys